Hey guys, Rich here. Um, this is a pair I just did tonight. Uh, had a light ball sensor in it. It was one of the last ones in the house that was uh, completely screwed up. Um, I took it out and it actually had uh, holes drilled in it. And the brackets that holds the where the flippers are was bent upward like and somebody like welded it because it broke and made it like one piece um and the bushings actually ate through the side it's over on the bench over there um i was just thinking about doing this now nah, i wasn't originally going to do this but i said what the heck let me show you guys what i do here um as you can see i just put the spring loaded shock in um this crank plate is actually designed for the light ball sensor it's not designed for this so to make it work make sure you have your uniball washer there you see how close that gets I mean it doesn't hit even if the screw this bolt does hit a little bit it's fine as long as it doesn't bind or nothing usually what I do is I spin this around and make sure it doesn't bind or catch really bad but if it just taps it a little bit it's fine because this really wasn't made for the spring loaded shock it was originally designed for the light ball sensor Stalls makes one for this to fit this crank plate pulley. Uh, so what I do to make it work is I actually, you know, you put the uniballs on here, and I actually put a jam nut or whatever. I like to use jam nuts because they lock this nut tight and they never come out, um, and it'll never go anywhere. And what you want to do is make sure when you have the rudder on this side, make sure you can move the shock just a little bit, so you know it's not binding and then to start with your adjustments I always start with the rudder at uh, center in the middle and usually what I like to start with the adjustment on these I could spin this around here um, I usually like to start here I don't like to go to the middle unless I have like a really big super slow pulley on here um, this one was already adjusted like this. You know, I always like to go around here or here just so the paddle has enough pause for the pins to get pushed out. And, you know, but at the same time, and, and, the, and then to let the balls in, but not to pause too long so where you get a lot of pins shooting into the ball door and getting stuck by the ball lift rails. You guys know what I'm talking about. All, but that all depends on what type of pulley you're running on your mousetrap. I have a few of them here that I'm running like a stall super slow pulley, one close to that size, but the majority of them, once again, the center I work for, uh, their funds are very limited, so I'll show you a real cheap, cheap way to do this here. Now EBN, I know they sell a pulley like this for the spring loaded shock. Um, the one they sell is like 50 bucks and there's other companies I think that make them too this is the OEM one for the light ball sensor this is the one I have on here see how much smaller that is let me give it you guys look see the difference you could even see I don't even need to, to show it you could even look at it and see right there now you, you see what I do is I actually take this old pulley and I actually cut this off this pulley off with a hacksaw, um, the old mousetrap pulley, and smooth the edges out after you cut it off. And for nine dollars, you heard me, nine dollars, you can get yourself a small pulley like this. There's a company called Mori Bearing Co. and Pulley Co. Power Transmission that makes it. Um, I have the part number over there. Um, Anyway, you, it doesn't have to be more. It could be anyone. You know, you just need the measurements and the size. This one's about an inch and one eighth in diameter, in outer diameter. Um, and I don't remember the inner measurement of the shaft. Um, I have to go. I have my measurements on the bench. Um, I'll just get you the part number for this pulley. It'll be easier. Uh, but what I do is the shaft for the mouse trap. I actually grind a flat spot on the edge of the shaft where this pulley was And all I do is I just bolt this pulley on here So I mean for nine dollars versus fifty 
you can do that. So anybody who is changing out their light ball sensors for spring-loaded shocks and they want to find the cheapest route and still get, you know, the, the rudder to run slow enough to let light balls in and stuff like that, this is the cheapest way to do it. And this is the way we've been doing it here. I did a ton of machines so far. I started doing this about a year and a half, a little over a year ago. Um, so if you're deciding to get rid of your light ball sensors, if you want to go with the spring-loaded shock, this is the cheapest way to do it. I just figured I'd share this with you guys here. Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing here. I have, We have a few light ball sensors in here left that I'm not worrying about. A couple of them I had to fix, readjust, and I was able to fix them and readjust them because nobody screwed with them. But there are some other ones here that were just, they've been welded multiple times and bushings were eaten out to the point where they were eating in the metal. They needed new parts, um, so they were really no good, at least, you know, to the point where it needed to come out and it pretty much needed a, almost a whole new light ball sensor. I mean, there were some parts on it that were still good. So anyway, um, we just decided one day to order a shock, put it in, see how good it worked here. And overall, I mean, you know, it's a preference. You know, I, I light ball sensor if it's if it's adjusted correctly, um, and everything's where it should be on it. The bushings are in good shape. It will run really well. You will really almost never get calls. Never. I mean, it runs really well. We have a few in here that do. I just prefer this shock because of the simplicity of it. I mean, you have, you know, the spring inside, the shaft on both sides. You know, I mean, I mean, it's like nothing really ever. These things like almost never break. I mean, if they do, you know, literally, what you got two bolts, one bolt here, one bolt there. What is it? You know, say one ever went down, you know, you could switch it in and out within five minutes, and you know, it doesn't need to be adjusted perfectly just to run, and you could tweak it anytime you want. The other thing I like about them is once you adjust them and set them, that's it. They're done. You never have to touch them again uh, unless you're changing one out. And if you change one out, you can just adjust it the same way as the one in there, and it should work the same, you know. Uh, maybe, maybe not it's spring-loaded, but that's why I like these, just because of the simplicity of them. Um, nothing, no pun on the light ball sensor. It's not really a bad thing. I just, you know, the fact that it has all the moving parts and... It has bronze bushings in it, and you can't lubricate them. If you do, you'll have problems. Just it doesn't really make much sense to me. Um, but once again, I, I, it's really not a bad item, and I know a lot of you guys out there are running them and like them. And you, if you got them working good, I uh, I'm, I'm glad. Keep it up. Uh, but if you are like me and like the simplicity of the shock and want to go with the shock. I just figured I'd share. This is the cheapest way to do it. Just grind a little flat spot on the sh shaft, and, and that's it. You know, uh, obviously, unfortunately, I really wanted to go with the Enviro bushings for the mousetrap. Uh, but once again, it's not up to me uh, what parts, what type of parts I can get. It's only up to me. We'll tell them what parts I need, and then they buy from where they want to buy from and get me what they want to get me. I know. I know. It's it's the way they want it, it's the way they run it, and uh but they're paying me, I'm not paying them, so fortunately. And I don't think I haven't said anything. I have brought it up things up before, but I have the part number to that pulley. It's right here. Hold on a second. Okay, it's a 5 8 bore, OS 117, OS, sorry, I'm, it's the end of the night, it's closing time, it's really early in the morning, I'm exhausted, OS 17 pulley, that is the pulley by Mori, that's who makes them, um, it even has the, I don't know if you could see that, I can see it, I don't know if you could see that. Mori OS17 by 5.8. 5.8 is the inner bore. 
Um, so yeah, so that's the pulley I use. Once again, they're nine dollars. You know, sure you're gonna have to take your old mousetrap pulley and cut it, but I mean you're talking about nine dollars versus fifty dollars. Another thing I want to show you is stalls, so for super slow rudder assembly. I know about that. And I, I really like that. Once again, this center, the funds, and the way they, you know, but are aren't there. Um, but anyway, this is. You see that big pulley right there? That pulley cost about twenty bucks with the small Mori pulley that I just showed you. And that pulley is a seven and a half inch diameter pulley. The super slow one by Stalls, I believe, is like an eight, eight and a half, which is the same exact size pulley as the crank plate pulley. Um, you know, I don't need the rudder to run that. You know, this slows the rudder down more than I need it to. Uh, but this is another pair we experimented with and did that. Um, and it, it works really well. Uh, Mori makes this pulley too. Um, so once again, I mean, you can make yourself your own super slow rudder setup for you know, a lot cheaper than what a lot of places or companies are charging for it if you want to spend the time um, or if you have the time. If you don't, you know, I mean, no pun, Stalls makes a good product. Uh, I just, you know, you know, like I said, um, this is what I have. I have a couple pairs we've done of this so far. Um, the majority of the rudders I just have slowed down to that and they work fine. Um, like I said, I really wanna, I really want the Enviro bushings. I really want the Enviro bushings for the mouse trap, but unfortunately, um, it's not my call. But I just figured I'd share that with you guys. Um, yeah. So anyway, um, that's that's what I'm doing here today. Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I guess I'm gonna put this, I gotta get this back together now and run it and test it and see what happens. Alright, I'll talk to you later.